All right, Poland has fallen to Germany. Yeah, so uh, it was a full team effort. Um, Morsell went down pretty easy, as did uh, Krakow over here. Um, the the kicker, you can see all my units stacked up around Posen over here, which is always part of my pronunciation. Um, boy, they did not want to go down. Um, even the Panzers had trouble getting to them, and so uh, they finally were taken out by the 4th, but not before the Panzers and the 8th both took a crack at them, and so uh, the 2nd Panzers rolled in after Poland was conquered uh, because cities remain under enemy control even after they're conquered, and so um, I don't know exactly what that does to gameplay, but I just didn't want to take any chances, so I went ahead. They still had their activation left, so I rolled them up into there. And so Poland's fully down. Um, when that happens, uh, let's see, Germany takes control of the Polish corridor, this little area right here, a little disputed area. And then uh, the eastern Poland disputed area, which this took me a minute to figure out. There's kind of a, it might be hard to tell on the video here, but there's a red border that runs along here, basically anywhere inside of that is disputed. And so uh, that goes to the USSR, and so they can start moving units into there, which is probably what they'll do next time. Um, after they took over Poland, Germany gets to put a pro-axis marker down on any adjacent, any country, any neutral country, I should say, adjacent to Poland. I went with Hungary just because um, if you if you start moving into um, like Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, if you start moving up here, it's considered to trigger the East Invaded event, which gets the United States on their path to entry. And so I don't really want that yet. I want to try to buy a little bit of time to let Germany build up some forces because um, right now the Nazi-Soviet pact is still in place. And so um, I think that, I'm pretty off the top of my head, I think that prevents the USSR from invading, or from, uh, I'm sorry, declaring war on Germany. And it prevents uh, the Allies from in, from declaring war on Germany. So um, even if they don't like what happened to Poland over here, they, uh, they're they not appeasing Germany anymore, but while the Nazi-Soviet pact is in effect, they still can't declare war. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'll probably go back and double-check that. But, um, so yeah, not going to be any action over here just yet. Um, Germany, I'm sure, will want to bring some forces over here and do that. And so um, I'm not necessarily done with German operations yet. I still could do something with these guys over here as far as just moving them around. But um, yeah, I don't know that I want to do that yet. So um, anyway, uh, just kind of see here. I don't know what I'm going to do if I need to start putting units down because I've got um, you know, my faction cards up here, and so there are some places up here in this corner of the map that units could go. Same thing for down here with my production area kind of covering up the Middle East. Um, and there's a couple of British units just hanging out down here, so just for the time being, hoping that everything kind of stays in this general area because I uh, don't, don't know what I'm going to do space-wise if I need to start moving around, but, um, you know, We'll figure it out because I am having fun with this, so it should be worth the effort.